Hello everyone, I am Glenn and welcome to the Glenliness Weekly Vlog. It is Thursday, about 25 after 4. I've been trapped in my car for approximately one and a half hours. Hey. Ollie's currently trapped with me. Hey, hey what? Uh, uh, you want to say hi? Uh, say car crash. <laughs> Uh, so there was a little bit of a crash with the nanny earlier and I ended up picking him up and then I tried to get home and the hill up to the house was pretty much blocked off by cars that couldn't get up the hill. So now I'm just attempting to make it to Wegmans because both of us have to pee and probably by the time we get there and get out and get back, hopefully they'll have things cleared. But this has been, literally I've been in the car for three and a half hours since about uh, one o'clock. It's pretty much bumper to bumper traffic. It's the weather's not too bad at this point. It's clearly very cloudy. Is that a freaking plane up there? No, that's, <laughs> I thought there was a plane up there. Uh, no, definitely not. It was a drop. There's like a car broken down up there. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's like a little van that you can see stopped in the road. Other than that, this has just been bumper to 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 bumper. Which, which has not been at all pleasant. Let me put you down in the little thing here. There you go. I cannot see. A little safe. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't see Ollie. You're you're there. You're right in there. You're right there. I see. I'm sorry if you can't see you. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get us somewhere because uh, Ollie said I don't know like. I, I want to say nearly an hour ago at this point that he had a pee. And he's been holding it like a champ. But let me tell you, there is very little more pressure than having a toddler who says he has to pee. And being caught in this kind of traffic. So, not a pleasant start to the quasi sort of weekend almost. But I know you do, Ali. We're trying to get you there as quick as we can. Alright, I'm going to try to get him in there as quick as I can, like I said. And uh, I'll catch up with you more tomorrow, probably. Bye. <laughs> so, decided to do something a little bit different than the pizza tonight. Since, oh, sorry about the hand. Since on Wednesday, kind of day before Thanksgiving, uh, pizza's kind of traditional. We'll be going up to my parents' house and doing the pre-Thanksgiving pizza yeah. and then off to my sister's for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Ollie and the wife are playing in the background there, as you can see. I just put in some fries. I'm going to be making some uh, sliders today. I've got my little rolls are all cut and set, ready to go. I got the burgers all formed, and I'll be cooking those up. We're watching, uh, I've already forgotten what we're watching. We're watching Moana tonight. Uh, uh, Gina, my wife, and I have already seen Moana, but the boy, ah, sorry, the boy has not seen it yet, so uh, we liked it, thought he might like it as well. <laughs> I, I know I didn't do too much filming uh, this weekend, just kind of living the life, and as I said, it's just kind of hard because there's just so much going on now and I don't have that time to myself that I that I used to have. So I'm just filming when I get a chance and I got a little chance now. I'll try to do a little bit uh, later. Uh, maybe take you through the cooking process a little bit. Not that it's that interesting, but got some different cheeses and different sauces that I made to go on these uh, sliders so that we can mix it up a little. So I don't know. Cooking montage?
the burgers were tasty and uh, plentiful. The fries, the homemade fries were a complete bust. So I've made something like this before, making lunch now. Um, tomorrow's lunch, that is. Uh, basically, I, I, I cut up some rusted potatoes and I soaked them. I, I, I've soaked them in uh, uh, beer and a little water before. This time I had like a bunch of homebrew that was left. So I just soaked them in nothing but homebrew. But it wasn't very good homebrew. <laughs> and what had kind of rescued that particular homebrew was adding coffee to it, which I found masks some of the off flavors that can happen sometimes. But the coffee didn't come through in the potatoes, just the off homebrew. And also these potatoes had been sitting in the fridge for weeks. So I don't know if it was the potatoes that weren't any good or just that the homebrew wasn't any good or a combination of the two. But whatever it was, pardon me, getting my cold cuts for tomorrow. Um, whatever it was just was not, it, it like, it tasted horrible. <laughs> First of all, it was very bitter. And it actually, as I was eating them, the, the, a couple of them to test them, they actually hurt my throat. I've never actually had a food like burn my throat like that. So I kind of thought with something burning your throat, probably not a good idea to eat. So we tossed those out, had some chips with it. Uh, the burgers were really good. Uh oh, now I'm worried about this. No, oh, still good. Um, uh, uh, yeah, the burgers were really good. We had like a, a variety of cheeses and I made some different sauces to go with them. There was like a buffalo, uh, buffalo cheddar cheese. I made a buffalo sauce to go with that. Sorry, I'm trying to make my lunch while I'm talking to you. Um, buffalo sauce to go with that. We, there was a smoked Gouda and I made like a smoked ketchup to go with that. Um, I had just a straight up Vermont aged cheddar that was just a regular burger with uh, I had ketchup on mine Gina had mayo on hers and what was the fourth yes I had four sliders I am very full um that was the fourth one. Oh, it was a horseradish cheddar and I made like a wasabi mayo to go on that uh very tasty a lot of food um yeah we watched Moana, which we had seen. Ali had not. I really love that movie. I think it's... I, I personally think it's better than Frozen. But that's me, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to take some of the... Put some of the good cheese on the... On the sandwich for tomorrow. It's a little... Yancey's Fancy Artisan Cheese Sampler. Uh, let's see. What would go good on here? I think the smoked Gouda would be better than anything else. <laughs> Gouda would be better. It's maybe cheddar would be better. Regardless, I'm going with the Gouda. Uh, yeah, so Moana, I really love that movie. Um, it's on Netflix, which we have, so we figured we'd just go ahead and watch that. Don't have to rent, don't have to pay to rent something that way. And, and the boy seemed to really like it. He sat for the whole thing. He was mesmerized by a lot of it. Um, sat with me at the end of it which was just it's always nice when when he wants to like kind of curl up in your lap or whatever and uh yeah it was good he's going off to bed now i believe my wife just finished putting him to bed in fact yes there she is hi hi <laughs> okay so i'm gonna close this out for tonight and for this week and uh got thanksgiving coming up this week and who knows what I'm going to be able to film and whatever. So until then, bye bye. Oh, 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 oh. you're going off. Oh, yeah, I you're going Oh, it's going. Oh. I can't help you. It fell.
Bouncy, 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 bouncy. What's I doing? I think you might be taking a video. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Why are you taking a video? Okay. Oh. Perhaps ye knows too much. Ye seen the cursed treasure. Ye know where it be hidden. Now proceed at your own risk. These be the last friendly words you'll hear. Ye may not survive to pass this way again. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot, drink up, me hearties, yo ho. We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot, drink up, me hearties, yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's doing? life for me. What are they doing? They're torturing this guy. Why? Because they want to get information from him. They're bad guys. Pirates are bad guys. Yeah. Okay, you're on.